spot it, this one just now and it was a bleeder I've got some tissue soaked in salicylic acid on it I don't normally pop spots but this one was necessary I'm up later than usual this morning and I've just spilled coffee all down my legs let's try that again um it's 10 to 8 I wake up at about 20 past 7 which is kind of late for me and now I feel like the day's gonna go really quickly um I think I woke up late because I woke up in the middle of the night and I was up for a while so yeah <sighs> I had the fucking Game of Thrones finale just going round in my head last night. My anger about it. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I was so deeply disappointed in something that wasn't myself. <laughs> last night I tried to upload my vlog and I left it uploading and went to go watch Game of Thrones and it never did upload. <laughs> so now it's not, I was really proud that I'd filmed, edited and uploaded a video on the same day but um it's not gonna happen now but that's fine so yeah that is now just attempting to upload I'm back to bed for my coffee as is my usual ritual and then I've got absolutely no fucking idea what to do today much like yesterday which is just fantastical and it looks like a quite nice day and I literally have nothing to do great I really need to get me some friends and a social life that is something that really needs to happen my internet connection is the slowest thing at the moment this video has been uploading for um it's half nine over an hour and a half and it still claims there's be two hours remaining on the upload. Um, so yeah, I have thought I would start organising the stuff for selling. I've hung up all of my tops that I've got to sell. There are 21 tops. And I thought if I break it all up by category of clothing, that would be a good way to go. Um actually not comfortable for my head surprisingly um yeah i've got loads of random different tops ranging from georgia asda to new look top shop zara ted baker brandy melville forever 21 yeah 21 tops so my sort of routine that I do is I steam all the clothes first and then I photograph them and then I put them in their little bags ready for selling. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to start with tops first. It's half past nine. Let's see how long this takes and I'll try not to get distracted and do anything else in the meantime. <laughs> Okay, so that took me 13 minutes to steam 21 tops it actually would have taken me a lot quicker but my steamer is a sim better days you have it has like bad airflow or something and you have to wait for it you have to like stretch out the cord and wait for it to do its thing and stuff so it's kind of tedious it takes a long time and in hindsight i probably should have asked for a new steamer for my birthday but i didn't think of it at the time and it's also kind of a lame present but um, yeah, I should have done that. So yeah, they are now steamed. Now I need to photograph them, which isn't my favorite part. I actually don't really enjoy any of the process, if I'm quite honest, but there you go. Uh, 
Okay, it's now 10 past 10, so that whole process took 40 minutes. Um, and that's the easiest part done, because the part that comes next is editing photos and then listing everything on eBay, which is the most time-consuming part, but I'm not doing that right now. <clears throat> Sometimes I also decide to take pictures of me wearing certain clothes if I think it doesn't do it justice like on the hanger I might take pictures of me wearing it not that I think I can do them much justice so I can't get rid of them <laughs> joking but now I think I will um do dresses I think maybe because I don't have a whole lot of dresses so that might be a good one to do next do dresses and then maybe take a break and export all the photos and stuff maybe but I'll see how that goes so I haven't really started doing the dresses yet, um, but it's half ten and I was like, well, I haven't eaten anything today, I'm kind of hungry. And some parcels came, so I thought I'd just take a little break, a watermelon and a mango break. And I know it's really wasteful to buy these sort of packs, I don't do it a lot, but I do find I never get through like a whole watermelon and I wouldn't even know where to begin with a mango. Um, so yeah, I just treat myself to these every now and then, I don't do it often. So I've got some little diddy parcel things. I honestly tend to forget some things I buy, which is um, not a very good trait. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. I got this cute, mm, I don't know actually, now I'm looking at it thinking it's a little bit blingy. I think it might be a bit too blingy for me now. But it's a little hair barrette thing and it's a starfish but it's all like encrusted but I, I don't know i think it's too jazzy too jazzy they are a little too jazzy yes and i also can't unclip it but i got this from ebay it was really cheap and evidently it's cheap because i literally can't unclasp it and i think i'll probably fucking break it genuinely think this is going to break if and when I eventually yeah I can feel it fucking lifting off up at the wrong bit I can't open it well there's my first fail of the day what have we got next to disappoint me how do you even open a package like this I've never seen such a oh there we go I need a mango I need a little mango break not 100% sure on that mango However, I think my taste buds are still kind of slightly off from being ill, so. They're bigger than I thought they'd be. We might have another fail on our hands. Some more hair accessories. I've got two of these clips, which are honestly so much bigger than I thought they'd be. They look a bit stupid. Obviously, I wouldn't wear them with my hair like this anyway, but bit dumb I don't know you see girls on Instagram look so cute with shit like this in their hair and then I try it and I look like kind of accessories threw up on me which is just great such a nice day outside I can't believe I'm stuck indoors I think this is hair extensions and I am correct and these were these were on clearance these were only 10 pounds the ones i bought before were 30 quid and i fucking butchered them i cut them and fucked them up and they were 30 quid which is a lot of money to me they're 10 inches in length which is about right for me possibly a smidge too long because I obviously wouldn't wear them all the way up here they'd all vary so I might have to get snap happy again but not snap happy snip happy wouldn't it It'd be snip happy um so yeah and I've got to shampoo them with a purple shampoo to kind of get them a little less 
yellow. And then what I'm going to try to do is take the clips off of the, I don't know what pair yet, yeah, <clears throat> and sew them together so that they make thicker wefts, which is something I have done before, years and years ago. So I will just have to hopefully not fuck that up. But at the end of the day, it's a fun little project for me to have. Because um, I'm a sad little loser like that. Um, so yeah, those were my two fail parcels. I'm really annoyed about this. This is definitely going to break. Meh. Maybe I can just wear it as a brooch. How much should I pay for this? more than two pounds then I'm annoyed that it doesn't work <laughs> but if it's under two pounds and it's fine I'll let them off it's actually genuinely hurting my fingers oh I finally fucking did it but just because I did it once doesn't mean I'll be able to do it again ah it was 1.99 and the, uh, the little clips were 3.49 for two it's a bit fucking expensive. The extensions were ten ninety nine. I can't believe how long it's taken me to film, not film, upload this video. It's ten past eleven and it's just finished uploading, but now it has to process, which is a long process. I literally, it's been uploading for hours and hours. It's really uh, gonna put me off uploading anything anytime soon. Um. <clears throat> so I just steamed the dresses. I actually have more dresses than I thought I was going to have. I thought I'd have five. But I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, four. I've got 13. Two of them are play suits. But I'd forgotten my mum had given me some dresses to sell as well. Um, yeah, she gave me these two dresses. And then she wanted to sell this one and I was really sad because I always love this. This has been in her wardrobe for years, so it's vintage. Um, but I absolutely loved it for years. Um, it's from Kukai. Um, and I've just always been kind of obsessed with it, but it's way too small for me. This must have been floor length on my mum because she's only four foot nine. Um, well, she used to be four foot eleven, but she lost two inches and she's really sad about it. Um, so yeah, I love this. It does have a little bit of giving it. I might try it on just for fun, even though I can imagine I'd be really upset. It's a size 2, which I don't know what that is, because we don't have size 2 in the UK, but this would come down like mid-calf on me. But it's really nice. It's kind of like beaded. Not beaded, I don't know what the word is. It's kind of, is it crocheted? I don't know. I just love it. I've always loved it. So I was kind of sad that she wanted to get rid of it. And then some dress, oh yeah, she gave me this one as well, which is pretty and that's brand new. I don't think she even like wanted the money for them or anything. She's just letting me sell them and make money off her shit. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm really sad that I'm selling these two because I never, so basically, <laughs> I went to a wedding years ago and I had nothing to wear and I really put off um, buying anything for the wedding and then it was the morning of the wedding and I just went to my dad and I was like, Dad, I've got nothing to wear. So he drove me, I think he drove me to Maidstone, which was like a half an hour drive and I think I went into TK Maxx and I bought two dresses because I didn't know which one. So these are the two dresses I bought, which were like mad for me at the time. I never wore colour at the time. This is the one I ended up wearing to the wedding and I do love it. I would wear it now if it wasn't a size small. Ignore the, that's just where my steamer got water on it, but that'll dry. Um, yeah, I definitely wear this now, but it's a size small. But I loved this detailing on it. It is a little bit coming apart there, but that can easily just be fixed with a stitch. But yeah, I wore this to the wedding and loved it and it was just completely out of my comfort zone because of the colour and the cut I never wear just like straight down dresses like this because I'm a bit self-conscious about my bod um because this was the one I really wanted to wear but 
and I bought this one. So this I never wore it in the end. Still got the tags in. Um, but a few of my family members pointed out the fact that in pictures it might just look like white. You might not be able to see this orange detailing. So they thought maybe it would look like I wore white to a wedding, which is a bit of a faux pas. So I never got around to wearing it. It's too small now, which makes me really sad. And then this I never got to wear and I loved this, but too small for me now. That's new without tags. Then this dress, I'm not sure about this one. So my mum turned 50 last year and her sisters bought her a box of like, it was something like 50 things a 50 year old needs and it had like joke stuff in it. It had like um, things typical old people might want. And they put this dress in here, this vintage old lady kind of dress. I kind of dig it. I think it's pretty cool. I might even try it on myself and see how I feel about it because it is a size 14 but I love the buttons on it they're really nice but yeah I'm gonna put pop that on eBay give it a go why not why not give it a go um <clears throat> skip a few and I'll just show you these two I'm really sad that these two don't fit me these two play suits I love them so much but they're both this one's a size small from Hollister this one's size 10 from Topshop and I love them. I wish they fit me. There's no point in hanging on to things that aren't going to fit me. Because I've been trying to lose weight for years and it doesn't happen. I don't bother with it. So, fuck it. Why am I hanging on to stuff that's not going to fit me anytime soon, if ever? And also, this is really short. Um... I'm long past the days of having my bum cheeks hanging out. <laughs> so yeah, there's some of the bits that I'm popping on eBay. Sad about some of them. Um, and yeah, I'm going to photograph them now and then take it from there. I've got fucking blisters on my hand. Um, <clears throat> my reed diffuser is getting right in my throat and it's really troublesome. Cool. I'm pretty bored now of pretty much everything. It's 12 o'clock. I can't stop staring at my spot. It's so red. Um, I think I'm going to shampoo my new extensions. But I thought I'd just show you the difference in the shampoo. And not the shampoo, the colours. When these extensions came, they were pretty much very similar, if not the same shade as this. And that's just what purple shampoo can do. This one, um, I used the Bleach London Smoky Shampoo. So hopefully this will work the same and we'll get some matchy-matchy. Um, they use some really fucking questionable coloured thread on blonde hair extensions. There's lots of brown thread running through here. And I even spotted, I can't find the piece now, even spotted green. They use green thread. Oh, there it is. That's fine. You do you. But yeah, there's a lot of brown thread running through there. And I don't know if I can be bothered to go through and pick it all out and cut it. I think I'll go shampoo those. I don't really want to cut them because I really fucking butchered these ones. But they don't look realistic not realistic they, they look weird when they're a bit longer than my hair but can you see how much I fucking fuck this up I don't know if, you, if it's really doing justice just how dodgy that is but yeah so I'll shampoo these and then I think I'll go find some lunch maybe I'll sit in the garden and have lunch although I can't be bothered to put sun lotion on and I am that person like even if I'm outside for like 10 minutes I want SPF on. <laughs> I don't know if I can be bothered to put it on. There's not really any shade in the garden either. So maybe I won't do that, but we'll see how it goes. I think I need coffee as well. I feel really like like I'm lagging. And yeah, I still can't stop saying those spots. Okay, let's go shampoo. Okay, my hair is drying on the radiator, normal, and 
before I started that I put the oven on so that I can make some lunch. It's a mini pizza kind of day. And I think the oven just made the noise that indicates it's ready, which is great. My hands are so dry from having them in water for so long. Am I gonna start eating lunch that a grown up would eat? I've got a mini pizza, some beans with parmesan on, because the parmesan was already grated and I couldn't be bothered to grate cheddar. Why am I the worst? Why is my diet this? Why? Oh, hello. It's four o'clock. I just went to get my hair extensions from the radiator. And they do look because like they're gonna be a little bit of a different shade. You can tell a difference. But like I said in whatever video it was, I don't remember if it was this vlog, or the last one where I discussed my hair extensions. Um, there's a, almost definitely I won't be wearing them outside and um, my hair is different shades of blonde anyway. And it's mainly just for pictures and video. And in pictures I can edit the color of my hair anyway. So it's not the end of the world. I will say something is interesting though. Definite difference in like textures like this one is a lot shinier then this one's a lot more like matte which is interesting but maybe i don't know when they're together i think they're gonna look fine um yeah i'm hoping i can manage to sew them together well it does look like these have already in places i don't know i'm not like massively good at sewing so this may actually prove to be more difficult than I remember it being. But, um, yeah, it's just because that, that, that is way too much hair to have clipped on your head separately. So putting them together would be the best option. But we'll see. It smells nice. <laughs> well, the new ones smell nice. The older ones don't smell too good because they've been like straightened and stuff. But the ones that have just been washed smell pretty good because I use a hair mask on them <laughs> looking after my fake hair better than my own hair yeah it smells really good I also love this texture like it's just kind of I wish my hair texture was like this just that really soft wave it's so pretty but yeah I'm gonna go wash my hair in a minute and have a bath Such a wasted day. It's so nice today, not that you can tell, because <laughs> there you go. Blue skies. But yeah, I've wasted my day. I mean, I have done some stuff, but I would have rather have been out. But I really need to, like, should I put an ad out on Gumtree for some friends? Is that something that would be a normal thing to do? Probably not. <laughs> I'm not actually 100% convinced I'd know what to do if I had friends, to be honest. It's been so long. <laughs> I think I might actually find the situation uncomfortable. Anyway. They've got a really nice, almost pink tone to them in places. It's a nice shampoo, actually. Yes. Okay up with you a bit later I suppose. Hey guys, it's a bit later now, it's ten past eight. Let's adjust this. Oh dear. So I've spent my evening, oh I still don't like this. I haven't even got my glasses on though so I can't even like tell. Um, I've spent my evening sewing my hair. Um, ignore, these clips look really dumb. They, it was the worst £3.49 I've ever spent in my life. Um, I've sewed all my hair together. Um, it took me a couple of hours and I actually found it immensely therapeutic because I just put like YouTube videos on and my hands were busy for a few hours so that meant I wasn't like on my phone. And because it's such a fiddly thing sewing, like if you put it down, it can be a bit difficult to pick back up again because like, 
I'm not like a professional sewer, so um, I kept stabbing myself in the finger and I kept losing the needle and stuff. So once I started doing it, I didn't want to stop to like check Instagram or anything like that. So I was fairly consistent with this. I had to stop for dinner, but apart from that, I managed to do it. Now they are, it is quite thick. Um, it will add some volume to my routage. But volume is what we're after, so I'll have a little play around with it tomorrow and see how it goes. But yeah, I sewed them all up myself. So exciting. I probably now have too, way too many wefts and stuff, to be honest, so because what have I got? I've got two... Did I sew this? Oh yeah, that's my handiwork. Um, two one pieces. One, how many? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, three clip wefts and then two, two clip wefts. And what I also should have done in hindsight was sew the opposite extensions together. So sew from different batches if that makes sense because now these are two different sets and they'll go like on opposite parts of the head so what I really should have done was take one from one and one from the other and put those together because then it would probably blend a little bit better um, but we live and learn from these things and I enjoyed my little sewing adventure that was fun I might sew some other stuff because I do have a phone problem. I have, like most people my age, most people this generation, I have a problem where I'm constantly on my phone, constantly double, even triple screening things. So that would mean being on my laptop, having a TV in front of me and being on my phone at the same time. I am a massive culprit for that. And it's not good. It's not good for your brain stimulation. It's not good for lots of things. So if I can find a little hobby that will keep my, me off my phone, then I think that's a good thing. Even if it's literally just sewing two pieces of fabric together for no reason. So yeah. I now have hair all over me. Thread all over me. An abundant, I also have an abundance of hair extension clips that are now not necessary. Don't know what to do with those. Um, but it's all in a day's work. <laughs> Got my little cotton here. How cute am I? Being so thrifty. Not thrifty. Crafty. Also, washed my hair earlier and it's, it feels loads thicker than usual. So, yeah. Might not even need all these extensions because it actually feels like it's gotten its thickness back in like a day, which is interesting. But I think it's starting to look loads thicker already, which is a little bit weird. I'm very suspicious about it. But I will not, what's the phrase? I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Is that the phrase? Is that a phrase? I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do with these clips for the time being, I guess. I'll just put them back in this bag thing. If you'd like any hair extension clips, let me know. They also come with hair. I can't see. Where are my glasses? I can't, genuinely cannot see a thing. <laughs> My room's getting messy again. I literally only tidied it a few days ago. Oh my god, I'm covered in thread. Okay. I need to go on a hunt and see a man about some glasses. <laughs> and, um... Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be a daily vlog or a two daily vlog. 
maybe combine some of it with tomorrow. Um, so I'll just see, I'll play it by ear, see how it goes. Bye. Good morning. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've vlogged not looking like a complete skank. I'd say I'm probably about a six out of 10 <laughs> right now. Whereas my usual vlogging face is about a two out of 10. And that's being generous, I feel. As you can see, I'm putting my new clips and extensions to, I was gonna say good use, but I'd use that term very loosely. I feel like I'm somewhat at war with this top layer of hair because <laughs> I just don't know what it, it's trying to achieve from life. Yeah, I don't really know what it's doing. <sighs> it's hot today. We've had to have the heating on though so we can get hot water and it's a sunny day so it just feels very warm. Um, it's about 11 o'clock. I've just spent the morning sort of fannying around really, just doing odd things. Um, I'm currently watching Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. I've just finished my makeup, hence why I am sat at my makeup table. Um, but I'm gonna take some pictures now of me wearing the clothes that I'm gonna sell on eBay, not all of them because some of them don't fit me, but some of them. Um, I don't know whether to uh, try and rock my curtains <laughs> or to pin them. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd come on and say, Good morrow, good morning, <laughs> and I'm gonna get back to watching Gordon Ramsay. It's just how I roll. Okay, so I just started trying stuff on, and my bra is poking out because I've tucked the strap in. First thing I decided to try on was my mum's vintage dress, and I'm not gonna sell it because even though it's very figure hugging and I don't love it around my middle area it's actually kind of nice and it might just be a nice thing to keep because it's my mum's so it's nice isn't it I like it I can't see how it looks in there now because I've got my glasses on but I think it's actually really nice <laughs> and keep that one and even if I never wear it it doesn't really matter because it's just more being kept for sentimentality. Is sentimentality a word? I don't think it is, but it is now. Anyway, let's try something different on. Are we ready to see the old lady dress? <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> it's quite a sight to uh, see isn't it do you know what I'd actually quite like it if it had more of a like a ditzy floral sort of print I'd probably vibe with it a bit more a part of me wants to sell it and then the other part wants to like I don't know take the sleeves off and make it a bit fun or something but I just don't love the um the print and I don't love that it doesn't button down all the way but yeah I don't know I kind of like the shape of it so it's just a shame that because I probably would wear this if it just had a different print maybe oh, I don't think I have an example print yeah just like a ditzy little print like that then it would be really cute but that's not the case unfortunately if I was like super creative then I would use this as like an outline and make a whole new dress but obviously I'm not there yet so yeah I guess I'll just get have to but I have to get rid of it I hate fucking gaping gaping things around the boob area it's so annoying okay I know yesterday I was all like 
what's the point in keeping things that don't fit you, blah, blah, blah. But I can get this on. However, I wouldn't wear it out in public because it is a bit tight around my nethers and my butt does kind of hang out a bit. But would that change if I was to lose some weight? Because even though it's not perfect, I kind of really like how it looks. Can you adjust the straps? Oh, if you can adjust the straps, that might be a game changer because I kind of do like this. I don't know whether to keep it or sell it. I haven't done it up at the back. I don't even know if it can do up at the back. Um, so yeah, it's really short. But if I ever had a holiday, would I care if people that I'll never see again saw my bum? That's a question that I'd never thought I'd ask, but it's valid. Would I care if a stranger saw the bottom of my bum cheeks? Do I have morals? Who knows? I just think it's really cute. What do we think? I mean, the fact that I can get into anything that's a size 10 anyway is astounding, especially since it's from Topshop, because I just tried on a Topshop size 14 dress and it was, I struggled with it. So what do we think? Give up on my dreams of having this cute play suit or keep it and probably never wear it. <laughs> it's so cute though, isn't it? I don't know what to do. Dunno. When I got my fringe cut, this is the vibe I was envisioning. I was just, it's, it's this, it's because I've got wavy hair and, um, and it's not thin and horrible. So yeah, thank you extensions for making me actually re see that this was what I wanted when I envisioned getting my fringe done. But obviously I haven't styled the fringe. I've literally just pulled it down and put glasses on top to sort of hide my cow's lick and stuff. Cause when I washed it yesterday, I just let it do its thing. And it's thing is that it wants to just separate into curtains. So yeah, but this was, definitely the vibe I was after which can only be achieved with <laughs> hair extensions and a wave um, wave making thing <sighs> and I can't make these extensions out because my mum told me you can see them all like poking through but hey for a couple of pictures it's fine cool Okay, so I'm doing some things today that are way out of my comfort zone and they are both to do with how I look. So vain. So the first one is wearing a skirt. Um, you can't really see it right now because I'm sat down, but it's kind of a midi granny skirt kind of affair. And then the second thing is I'm gonna wear the hair extensions. I'm not doing the fringe because the fringe just has so many possibilities to go wrong because it's quite windy outside. I am, oh, it's so hot today, oh my God. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna use these clips or if I'm gonna use little bobby pins to get it out my face or what, but I'm gonna wear the extensions. Even though it's so hot, I'd actually rather just put my hair up, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I usually don't wear skirts to work until it gets really hot like in the late 20s and it's only 20 degrees right now um but it feels really hot in here <laughs> and like i've got tan on my legs are shaved so why the fuck not um so yeah and now i've got an hour before work and i think i'm gonna end the vlog and start editing the vlog um <sighs> I feel like I've gotten enough footage. Let me know if you guys are enjoying more vlog uploads as opposed to just a weekly vlog. And um, I'm gonna melt, actually melting. And I'll probably see you really soon because I'll probably start vlogging again tomorrow because um, I'm a predictable little sausage like that. So yeah. Oh, I say I've shaved my legs, my knees feel prickly actually. I always, I always, I swear I go over my knees like 50 times and then didn't work. 
barely been shaved in my legs like probably 12 or 13 years you'd think I'd be good at it by now you'd think wrong <laughs> so yeah just for watching what the fuck am I going to title this vlog nothing has happened I'm sure I'll think of something clickbaity bye